former NASA scientist reveals 2017 pole shift dates. It has been scientifically proven that the Earth undergoes a full geomagnetic reversal, or pole shift, around every 780,000 years. These reversals are usually slow, occurring gradually over long spans of time. However, at the start of the 20th century that historical pattern appears to have been radically altered. All the nations that track this easily monitored data have validated each other's scientific observations and data sets. Even NOAA has presented hard data which substantiates this ongoing geomagnetic shift. Hence, there is no mistaking the now generally accepted fact that the magnetic poles of the Earth are not only shifting in real time, but that they are moving very quickly. This phenomenon applies to both the North and the South Poles. The following diagram shows the precise movements as they are transpiring at the respective poles. Former NASA scientist Dr. Salvatore Conti delineates the coming geomagnetic pole shift. The following video is quite remarkable for many reasons. It represents the first time that an authoritative account of the coming magnetic pole shift has been provided by a scientist who has been given access to highly privileged information and impressive data collection. In fact the only way that former NASA scientist Dr. Salvatore Conti could have elaborated such complex information was by having been the insider that he was. The following video is less than one half hour long, but only a few minutes of viewing will be necessary to receive the most relevant details. Those revelations begin at the 13 minute mark and continue until about the 19 minute mark. Partial Transcription 1428. Our ET friends have given us a very ominous prediction. In a nutshell, our planet is going to go through a process we call a chill magnetic reversal but a rare kind that happens very quickly, and its most intense drifting will take place between September 25th and October 19th, 2017. Now a chill magnetic reversal does not mean the planet is going to flip over and everything is going to shift and shake violently in apocalyptic devastation. The planet has actually gone through a geomagnetic reversals many times. Most of these happen very slowly over many years. But we are certain that they do happen every few hundred thousand years by looking at fossil records, which show changes in the magnetic orientation of rocks. So what are geomagnetic reversals? Put as simply as possible. Our planet's core is made of a giant, superheated solid metal ball covered with liquid metal. As both move and flow inside our planet, and the Earth turns this combination creates the dynamo effect which in turn creates the magnetic field around the planet. In a geomagnetic reversal changes at the core make the magnetic field unstable at first and then cause it to drift and to finally re-establish itself with the poles in opposite positions from where they were when the reversal started. Now, the continents and oceans are still going to be where they are right now, it's the invisible magnetic field that's going to flip. By the way, let me make something clear here. Like I said before, this is not a movie. I once saw a movie in which the core stops flowing so they have to do ridiculously unbelievable things to get it started again, or else the magnetic field would disappear and the Earth would get fried by microwave radiation from the solar wind. As clear as that may sound it's nonsense. What the, 1642 Alphys, are warning us about is unfortunately, real science. 1645. Now, when the last reversal took place, which was about 780,000 years ago, there were already some early ancestors of ours, and anthropologists haven't found evidence that it caused any major alterations on those early humans. But that last reversal was like most are, very slow over many years. The reversal, Alphys, say is about to happen is a kind that is very fast. For all we know the process may have started already and we may be witnessing events which are related to the 2017 event. Like all these weather changes, and seismological activity. The magnetic north pole is migrating fast toward northern Russia. 1729. 
The fact is that the rate of polar migration for this next reversal will increase exponentially to a peak during the summer of 2017 when according to the Alphys, in a period of 66 days it will amount to 124.72 degrees. That's almost 70% of the total reversal in a little more than two months, something that usually takes hundreds to thousands of years. This event will be like one that's been proven from analysis of the lava salts on Steens Mountain in Oregon. Fifteen million years ago a reversal took place in which the rate of change was as fast as 6 degrees per day. That's over three times faster than the average drift of less than 2 degrees per day, expected for September through October 2017. But this rate of change is fixed for the 66 days. The days in the middle of the period should be the ones with the fastest change. 1835. And here's the rub. What the, Alphys, are determining and making us know is that in 2017 the quick change in polarity will make the Van Allen radiation belt to drop to Earth. What does that mean? Well, the Van Allen belt is actually made up of two enormous clouds of highly charged particles that exist around our planet and which are held in our planet's magnetosphere by the magnetic field. When the magnetic field becomes unstable due to the quick flip of its poles the Van Allen belt will collapse and its particles will pretty much bombard the Earth with a lot of radiation. Based on what our alien friends say and from all calculations the amount of radiation that will reach the surface will be devastating. Most land-based plant and animals and those living near the surface of the sea will be killed, including an expected 75 to 80 percent human mortality rate. Those who do survive will be affected in ways we can only theorize not just physically, but physiologically and genetically. There is no question that the Earth's magnetic poles are moving more rapidly than they have been observed at any point in human history. Given the significant uptick in Earth movements, particularly volcanic eruptions, major earthquakes, methane releases and massive sinkholes, as well as the intensification of global climate change, the evidence is now quite compelling that there are other sources of earth changes, intensification of solar activity, influx of cosmic rays, alteration in the movement, temperature of the earth's core, etc. There is no stopping the ongoing geomagnetic pole shift nor is there any slowing it down. The only remaining questions are when will it reach peak intensity and how will such a drastic movement in degrees affect the magnetosphere. The magnetosphere is well known for providing a blanket of protection around the Earth, without which the planet would be practically uninhabitable. Most importantly, it must be determined whether there is any truth to Dr. Conti's assertions about the potential collapse of the Van Allen belt full or partial, and what that would mean for the biosphere and for humanity. New shocking evidence points to pole shift. Is a reversal of the Earth's magnetic poles taking place? Volcanoes, earthquakes, strange noises from the sea. New shocking evidence points to a pole shift which, if it happens fast, will cause chaos around the world. A pole reversal. When the Earth's north and south magnetic poles start to swap places, reversing the world's magnetic polarity, has happened before. Scientists who track the history of the planet have identified 74 of these events by studying core samples. These are extracted from hundreds or thousands of feet down in the ground and in the thick polar ice. A sudden shift would throw the Earth's balance out so significantly it could trigger lethal earthquakes, tsunami on a scale we can hardly imagine capable of washing right across the United States and every other major landmass, volcanic eruptions so large and widespread that the resulting ash clouds and gases could blanket the sun's rays and trigger a new sudden ice age. Scientists look for evidence of previous Armageddon-style destruction by identifying chaotic sediments where narrow layers of earth, rock and ice record oddball events in the Earth's history in the form of bands of mud and tiny magnetically charged fragments. To scientists, these are clear indicators of sudden floods, 
ice melt or ash deposits. When this is found outside a long period of the cycle of freezing and melting in the Earth's history, it is an indicator of a pole shift. Pole shifts because a major increase in the movement of the tectonic plates, the giant lines of opposing cracks in the Earth's crust which push and grind against each other until they periodically release like a bald fist in a closed palm flicking upwards. There are now signs amongst the sharp increase in natural disasters and other strange, apparently unrelated incidents which point towards a possible reversal. It is widely recognized that magnetic north, that point at the top of the globe which compasses and devices which depend on magnetic navigation rely, is shifting increasingly quickly towards Russia from its current position above Greenland and nearer to Canada. It has moved 400 kilometers in the last decade and is accelerating. Our sun swaps its north and south pole every 11-13 years and has just done so. The effect on the sun is to stimulate the number and intensity of solar storms which can have a major effect on the Earth. They can interfere with TV transmissions and power supplies. Other signs which might indicate the effects of a magnetic reversal between magnetic north and south are an unprecedented seven volcanoes which have started to erupt around the world in the last few days and a major spike of 7.0 magnitude plus earthquakes almost all of which I have witnessed personally a few days after the event as a documentary maker. The cycle started in Indonesia in 2004 and occurred again very recently in Nepal. These sharp increases in seismic activity do occur every 30 years or so and may be part of a natural ebb and flow but they are another aspect of what could be a major trend in the light of the relentless and quickening march of magnetic northeast away from its original position. USGS and NASA are very concerned about a new magma chamber the University of Utah have discovered recently under Yellowstone National Park in addition to the enormous lake of molten rock and iron they already knew about. This one is an astonishing 11 times the volume of the Grand Canyon. A sudden pole shift could become the push the magma chamber with the surface area of Los Angeles needs to blow up. If it does, most of North America would be destroyed instantly and a new ice age would begin. Another story which begs the question what on earth is going on is a 300 meter, 900 feet, high island which has appeared from the seabed just north of the tip of Japan in just one night. This area was the origin of the 8.9 magnitude earthquake which ripped through Japan in 2011 causing one of the worst tsunami of all time. Sections of crustal plates which suddenly move under enormous heat and pressure which cause earthquakes and tsunami have been known to move dramatically, although it is often never seen as it occurs miles down on the seabed. A new shelf 800 kilometers, 500 miles, and 60 meter, 180 feet high appeared off the west coast of Indonesia in 2004 which triggered the infamous tsunami wave which swept completely round the Earth's circumference three times. The new Japanese landmass appeared at almost exactly the same time as the Nepal 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake took place 5,000 kilometers, 3,000 miles, away at the opposite end of the Eurasian tectonic plate. Finally the weirdest account of nature behaving strangely is reports of a strange humming noise coming from the sea. Scientists have explained this as the effect of the currents running low the ocean.